Hey guys, good morning, good afternoon and good evening. This is Ankush here from Alip Consulting. Welcome in our Azure Migrate Lift and Shift case study. In this case study, we will be going to talk about customer introduction. We are going to talk about what are the challenges customer have, what are the requirement and then how the landing zone was deployed, how the 360 view of the resources post migrations look like what are the design principle was there when this uh, design when this solution was designed and what was the outcome or what what are the new capabilities or what are the benefits customer get once they have migrated to the Azure right so let's quickly jump into the customer introduction so this customer is one of the largest transport and logistic company in UAE and was operating with outdated on-premise hardware. When customer decided that this that this costly system need to upgrade, it turned to the its Microsoft partner and the Azure platform. From the beginning of data collection to the last migrations, uh, last migrated server, customer have moved around 200 servers to Azure in about seven month customer was operating uh, outdated on-premise hardware when customer decided this costly system need an upgrade they turn it to the azure partner and the azure platform customer don't want to buy a new hardware and worried about supporting it also customer want to reduce their on-premise data center rooms racks and remove the dependency from their own data center so this customer was was running on the way old server right they are uh, running the older hardware uh, which is quite older and the main driver was uh, for this lift and shift migration is about their hardware cost because at the end you need to invest upfront cost when you are upgrading your hardware right and then you also need to think about it how you can keep it up to date for the longer time so at the end after five years or ten years you again need to redo or refresh your hardware that's the reason that's the main driver behind of this lift and shift which customer have done and move their servers to the Azure because they don't want to invest their money on their own data centers they don't want to invest or they don't want to have any dependency of their own data center they want to move out from their own data center and want to basically go to the cloud to get the power of cloud and you and do the optimization and do the cost saving and utilize the automation right so that kind of thing or those kind of things where customer have decided to move into the Azure cloud now what are the challenges they have so they have outdated hardware was used to run their application higher cost to upgrade the hardware no option to minimize the IT uh, infrastructure spend since there's a no automations higher downtime in case of hardware failure that's true in case of anything goes wrong within the rack or within the server they have to lay on the partner partner will be going to come will be going to validate the issues and then uh, basically uh, sending a procurement or, or purchase order for a new hardware and then the hardware will be get plugged in and during that time you don't have any option stuck with the traditional way of hosting the application you don't have a Pass services you are running everything on the v on the on the server on the physical server so you stuck with the traditional way of managing or hosting the application no way of doing of uh, doing the modernization of application so these are the challenges which customer was having when they are running their application on the on-premise data center now what are the requirement was so customer want to have an enterprise level of Azure landing zone since they are uh, moving to the cloud so they want to have uh, all the Microsoft best practices to be followed and all of the cloud adoption framework uh, to be followed and the first step is to set up the enterprise level of Azure landing zone they want to have a centralized identity and access management they want to have a centralized network security for layer 4 and layer 7 they want to have a governance and compliance to be in place for Azure resources they want to have ISO 9001 and ISO 27001 policies to be in place for Azure resources. They want to have a simplest and easiest way of migration uh, uh, of the servers to the cloud. They want to have or they want to migrate the virtual machine to Azure as running on the on-premise 
data center so they don't want to do any kind of changes they don't want to perform any kind of uh, in-place upgrade for the server they want to move their virtual machine from on-premise to azure cloud as is cost optimization wherever it's possible use the automation for minimize the admin overhead so all of these requirement was there before they want to move into the azure cloud so this is how uh, the landing zone has been deployed so this landing zone has been a reference of uh, of the of the azure uh, enterprise landing zone reference architecture where we had a single uh, landing zone subscription we have deployed the uh, access and uh, identity and access management we have deployed the azure policies we have deployed the management and monitoring we have deployed the application network washer cost management azure monitoring everything has been deployed into the one single server for the customer as a landing zone and then hub and spock topology was used where hub was deployed in the landing zone and then network layer of security like azure firewall was deployed into the hub and rest of the spock network was connected into this hub and spock topology now once their resources were migrated this is how the resources were look like so they have they were having a hub and spoke topology where they are uh, they have a multiple spokes for the productions they have a multiple spokes for non productions also or all of them are basically getting connecting to the to the hub network and then from there all the traffics for this vm is going out to the azure firewall and then at the end we have a azure bastion which is basically used to manage the vm and then they have a vpn gateway which is providing the cross-premise connectivity from Azure Cloud to on-premise and the vice versa. Now, what are the design principle was there uh, when we have designed the solution? So, we were having a centralized access and network, sec network and security. So, se landing zone was built it for the customer, which include the subscriptions, identity, network, security and governance for Azure resources. Azure Active Directory and AD, AD was in a sync. Azure Firewall is in place in place for Hub and Spock topology for centralized management. Simplest and easy way of migrate. So Azure Migrate service was used for assessment of current virtual network running on on-premise, and the same service was used to migrate it to the cloud as is. Cost optimization during the migration of uh, virtual machines. Uh, we have chosen the best possible SQs and sizing to save the cost. Also for dev uh, test and UAT environment, we are using the automation to stop start the VM after the or during the business hour. At the same time, once the environment was stabilized or it was running up to the mark, the way customer is looking for, we have started utilizing the Azure Reserve instances to minimize the cost. Automation. All the services are being all the servers are being passed using the automation account. All the schedule, schedules for production, UAT, dev, test environment are in place for monthly patching. Compliance management, Azure management groups are created during the landing zone creation and ISO 9001 and 27001 policies are pushed to these specific management groups for the compliance and management. So all of these five design principle was there when we have designed the solution and migrated the VMs to the Azure cloud. Now, what was the outcome? Uh, from the beginning of data collection to the last migrated server, the entire process took about seven months. In the end, every server's, server was migrated from the on-premise platform to Azure. From two rooms with 12 racks to only two rack, we have reduced the cost because of a uh, smaller on-premise data center, no hardware suppliers and no additional hardware cost. Customer have also simplified an automated process, updated process for virtual machine and easy and reliable backup solution with the Azure backup. The team was also recognized uh, that the project is never a truly, never truly finished with the continu continuous optimization of the managed migrated services. That's where opt uh, the continuously optimi optimization like re uh, resizing the VMs, using the uh, using the RIs, using the saving plan, using the hybrid benefits kind of things. The main benefit that is all is now is the customer hand. We can decide if we need more resources, if we have to improve some availabilities or if we we offer a new services right so this is the outcome so you can remember you can you can uh, imagine right so customer was using earlier 12 racks 
uh, 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 and two rooms to, to run their data center. Now they only have two racks to be managed on the on-premise, which significantly re remove or reduce the overall cost, overall maintenance, because now they don't need to think about upgrading their hardware. They don't need to think about recycle their uh, hardware recycle process, right? So they simply on the Azure, they simply on the cloud. Now it's Microsoft responsibility to upgrade their hardware, do the hardware recycle, manage the hardware lifecycle management, right? Now customer can mainly focus on their business, customer can mainly focus on their application, customer can mainly focus on doing the optimization of their application, doing the optimization of the migrated services to the Azure, right? So that's kind of outcome customer get when they once they migrated to the Azure by using the Azure lift and shift. Now, once they, so later on, right, this is what their outcome looks like, but when they fully migrated on the Azure, they, they are uh, completely moved their servers on Azure. Now they have option to do the app modernization. They have options to do the database modernization by using the Azure PaaS services, by using the database as a services, right? So now they have a plenty of options to enhance their business. They have a plenty of options to do the cost optimization for their resources. Well, that's it in this case study i hope you like this video if you like please click on like and subscribe for more upcoming videos and feel free to reach us if you have any questions thank you